What are we what are we waiting on? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. MB944. Welcome aboard YOLO705 once again. Today is going to be another test flight basically. Not really a test flight really. Although 37,000 feet set this up here. Um so we're going to kind of take it for another spin. We think we got the um, spoilers finally fi figured out. Iowa, the Iowa mis Scotsman. The Misfits are on. Misfit 1 and Misfit 2. Who are they talking about? I don't know. Must be our air crew. <laughs> Can't be us. No, Not never. Not these polished never professionals. Us. All right. Um, let's see here. So you've got... Uh, You've got the FMC already all programmed in? Yep, she's ready to go. And mon capitan. Now, hopefully we're not going to blow out uh, everybody's ears with the engine sounds. I think we've got that dialed in better. Probably. Because uh, I did listen to the stream yesterday. It, yeah. The engines were like, they were like, loud. Like prominent. Yes. Yeah. So, but uh, instead of turning them down on the mixer, if, if the guys and the crew here say... They're still too loud. They're too loud. I'd rather turn them down in the sim. In yep. the sim. Yep. And that's why we're not doing VAT sim today because yep. I want to be able to have freedom to make adjustments. That's where the high squeal pitch. Was it turned down again? It was. It was not full. It was like right there. And I didn't hear the squeal. I did. I'm really sensitive. I've noticed about you're it. really sensitive to squealing. <laughs> and banjos. <laughs> No one's going to get that. <laughs> no. All right, let me uh, make sure I'm all loaded in here. I smell crickets. Pula B is on. Whoa. Hey. Hey, yeah, we're actually going to try to make a flight. We're, without breaking anything. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, yep. All right, so today's flight, yeah, there's going to be no VAT sim. Uh, this is so we can have the freedom to make adjustments. Yep. Freedom to have conversations, deep, maybe not so deep, maybe totally surface type conversations. Yeah. So this flight has got us going to runway 32, so it looks like right as oh, soon as we oh. depart. <laughs> well, she's in yoga all morning, every morning, so by the time I get up, she's it usually It sounds gone. like you better bring home a, a forgiveness burrito. <laughs> I can definitely do that. <laughs> I should definitely do that. Oh, yeah, call it the apology burrito. Yeah. Okay. All right, so just a real quick uh, rundown on our, our taxi. We're going to go out. We're going to do a U-turn. We're going to grab taxiway alpha to, uh, yeah, just alpha all the way down to the threshold. Okay. So we can, we can push, though. We can push. We can push, yep. And then uh, we'll want to face uh, left. In fact, you could pop us back. In. Yeah, I guess it doesn't Yeah, matter. we can. Yeah, let's face left. All right. Are you sure you want to face left? Yeah, let's face left. Because there's where we want to go, right there, where that bus is. <laughs> where that bus is waiting to take off. <laughs> All right. Let me get us. Uh, do you want to pop us back into the aircraft, or uh, or you just want to well, watch you've, it? You've got the keyboard and mouse, so that, that'll be all you. No, you got your little flipper button right there on the inside. Right here on the outside. Click that. Oh, that's right. Cool. All right. Yeah, I've just got too many aircraft for you to memorize. Yeah. One. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very true. Oh, you just took away my... Oh, shit, really? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Go ahead. All yours now. <laughs> uh. You took it away from me, man. What I need to do is program this to try to always be on top or yeah. something. Yeah. Or go back to, you know, go... You know what I mean. I know what you mean. All right. So, let's see here. Extras push back. All right. Now we're on APU power. We are on APU power. Yes. The APU is indicating right. running. But, oh, that's right because we're in 2020. All right. Doors are shutting. Okay. All right. We have door shuttage. 
And let's see here. Oh, I saw the truck coming in here. Is he moving? Pull, take the brakes off for him. All right. And. But he's going to take a while to hook up. How are you doing today, Hulabee? Ooh, what is, uh, we need to get our weather, because right now, look, I don't think we're below, 260 feet below main scene level. Yeah. Yeah? So airport elevation here is 30 feet, so we're right at sea level, so we can just set it accordingly. We're on metric. We're on Q and H for some reason. No, you're on inches. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Never mind. You need more beer. There we go. Okay. Mine's set to 3022. On the right, we agree. Yay. All right. You're serious? Oh, come on. You cannot quit burritos. Oh, you, you know what? Look at our... Our scenery's not lined up now. Now we got the windows fixed. Yeah. We can tick those up a little bit. Yeah. So you want to put us in the uh, experimental menu here real quick? Yep. Yeah, hold on one. Oh, you got the ki you got the keyboard. No, where'd the keyboard go? I think you got it. I don't have it. Don't you have it? No, I don't have it. All right. Well, let's set the break. <laughs> you sure you don't have it? I'm positive. Oh, it's back there. Well, who put it back there? My God, man. Don't bump any keys. All right, so one moment while we fix our uh, fix, scenery. Fix the world. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. <laughs> the hell? No, you want to go to center screen. There you go. Now escape a lake. There we go. General All right. options. All right. Experimental. Vertical offset. Nope, nope. Right what, there. What, 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 and then window oh, two, vertical offset. Oh, what, oh, it, it, oh. Actually, I'm going to roll that one in a little bit. See where we're at. There we are. I think so that's that pretty. Be right about there. That looks pretty darn close to me. Yeah, okay. And then there's a bus over here. I'm going to leave that one alone. Well, actually, I think, that's too. I think that. No. Ice bird. Ice bird for all. Welcome aboard, YOLO 705. Where every in-flight meal is a dash to the lavatory. There you are. That's what I'm looking for. So we're looking for that. So we're going to put the bus right there. And we're going to ladder size it right there. Okay, perfect. All right. How's I it look to you? Looks good to me, dude. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's mucho grando bettero. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the outside is from Microsoft. The plane is um, Project Magenta aircraft. It's a port over from their... Uh, P3D aircraft. P3D. You got to put your. Oh, got to stab you, the brakes. And stab, then, there you go. Up. Oh. There. You, hold it and then let go. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's, let's pretend they're set. Let's go ahead and light this popsicle stand. Okay. Got all that set correctly. All right. Set. Here we go. You're ready. Go ahead and cycle the fuels. There we go. We got ignition on. Wow, we do have ignition. Oh my God! It's one of them is working. <laughs> <laughs> what in the wide, wide world of sports is going on around here? All right. All right. Looks like we got a good start on. Got two. a good spinning one. Okay. 
do you guys have a nice FCOM or such like this for the 379? No, we don't have a 9. No. However, I mean, if I was to somehow port this over to a PMDG aircraft, we could have a 9. But Aren't they releasing the 37-600 uh, shortly? I don't or know. am I thinking of something else? I, I think, think they're releasing something new. I don't know. Okay. okay. We got good starts. Yep, yep. Got right. good response. I'm going to set the flaps to five. Speed brakes down. RTO set. Okay, engine's going to go to continuous. You got flaps five. Good. Taxi lights on. APU going off. I don't have flaps five indicated though. Okay, for some so cycle your uh, these guys. Yeah. Now you should get five. There we yeah, go. Yeah, you gotta um, just verify that you got the those. Okay. Cycle. Should we cycle y'all dapper? Leave that one alone too, because it'll it highlight if it's not working. Okay. See, you ha reason why I caught it is because you had an enunciator up there showing that you had no pressure. Right. So okay. that's what told me what was going on here. Flying it right now from Logue to Laput. Ooh, a little deeper. Yeah. The, 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 I like the Boeings. Okay, we are learning. going right. to roll. All right, let's... Uh, <sighs> rolling. Uh, all right. We're going to fly a plane, man. Is that what they call this? <laughs> We're going to get high, man. <laughs> uh, Sarasota traffic, yellow 705. Oh, taxiing Alpha to runway 32, Sarasota traffic. Yeah, no VAT sim today. Nope. Did you get your V speeds in already? Um, No. They were in there, and now they're gone. Really? Yeah. I don't know why that is. Oh, because you pro oh you didn't do your center of gravity. No, oh. that's why. That's why. I never do my center of gravity. You know that's why I keep falling over. <laughs> I keep telling the cops it has nothing to do with my drinking. It's a center of gravity issue. Right. But for some reason they never believe me. Right. All right. All right, all right, all right. There's Alpha 8. We're going all the way to the end. All right, how's the engine sounds, guys? Are they uh, hopefully not too overwhelming? Runway heading is going to be 320. Yep, I already got you set up for runway heading. Look at all of the... You think they got enough uh, <laughs> taxi lights out there? Oh, my gosh. Seems fine to meet you. All right, great. Thank you, Iowa Scotsman. Last time, the only reason why we ask is last time um, people's ears were bleeding on takeoff. Well, we're going to test we're gonna, that yeah. theory. <laughs> Hope you got enough cotton balls. All right, landing lights coming on. Strobe set steady. Okay. All right. We should be ready to blow this popsicle stand. Ready. Hang on here. You see something on the runway up there? Is there a building? There is a truck on the runway. What is a truck doing on the runway? He looks lost. Well, then he's probably part of the YOLO crew. Oh, here he comes. No, he's, he's just doing donuts. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, let's give Tower a call and say, hey, what's going on with this guy? Oh, no. yeah. oh there he goes. Oh, it's a fire truck they're standing by for us. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think they're going to crash right about here, so we'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll, buddy. All right, brakes off, flaps set, everything's set. Good, yep. here we go. Rolling. All right, speed airspeed's alive. alive. And toga. That really was a fire truck. Yeah. There's V1. Well, there we go. Pause the right gear up, please. All right, gear coming up. Auto brake is going to off. Get about 700 feet of altitude between us and terra firma. Okay, flaps going one. Flaps up. Of course, we have to watch our speed because yep. the system never pays attention. Okay. All right. Doing our turn. Flaps all the way up. Look at that, dude. That's awesome. Kinda I got a little bit of tearing going on, don't I? A little bit. I saw that just now in the turn. Why is it tearing? I didn't have that yesterday. Okay, we just blew through our uh, set speed here. They got a lot of swimming pools in this state. I know. <laughs> and a lot of alligators, too. How was that sound on takeoff for the engine, guys? Was that, uh, is it acceptable, or does it still need to come down a little bit? Iowa Scotsman says it's good. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, so we're going to be climbing to 37,000. Yeah. You know, all you have to do is hit LNAV, right? Yeah, we could do that too. So, ready? Ready, hit it. She nose down to get her speed back up. There's Sarasota. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? It is. All right. There she goes. She captured her speed. Now she's going into a full climb. Throttles aren't dancing today. No, they're a lot better today, aren't they? Yeah. You got squeaky coffee mugs. Iceberg, uh, uh, he says uh, the engines are too weak. Iowa Scott says they're all good. So, you two duke it out. Yeah, <laughs> you two duke it out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so Iceberg, that's what we were just talking about. We're, it seems to be a little bit of tearing going on now. Not sure why. Maybe it's because we messed with all uh, the visuals. I wonder, right? I also think it was a last system update. You think so? I think so, because the forums are just crammed full of people complaining about the stuttering after the last update. Oh, really? Yeah. See, now look at over at the ocean. See how that just looks like it would really... Yeah, looks like an ocean. It's just not a flat piece of color. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some of the tiles aren't fitting. Yeah, so we can see. Interesting. Yeah, Iceberg for all says it might be. Uh, he agrees with you. Yeah. Alrighty, dude. Cool. We uh oh, we're through ten thousand feet. Standard on the left. No, well, no landing lights. That's eighteen thousand feet for standard on the left. Oh. See, I don't know. It's a glitch with. It shouldn't be doing that until 18,000 feet. But for some reason, it thinks it's in Europe. It thinks it's a European airplane. It thinks airplane. it's... Um, okay, let's just reset that. No? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. when you go over to HPA, it does register as, yeah. as uh, QNH. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Yeah, it thinks it's in Europe. Well, who's going to break that news to her? Right. Oh, it's Duluth Fly. How are we doing, sir? Welcome aboard Yellow Flight 705. <clears throat> All righty. We're on our way to a lot of ocean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Won't you join us? Yeah. God, tonight, man, I get to play kind of like a little bit of a basher. Wife is not going to be home till late tonight. Uh-oh. Yeah. Man, you remember your bachelor days? I do. You remember, like, eating a lot of pizzas? Oh, yeah. Canned chili? Yeah. Uh, you, mac you and cheese. Oh. And if I really wanted to go whole hog, mac and cheese with cut up hot dogs. Yeah, buddy. Oh, 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 man, ain't nothing better. You know, and you didn't have to bathe every day either. Wait a minute, that's still a thing? No. Oh. Well, actually, and but actually, you know, and when you're a bachelor, when you jumped out of the shower and you had all that toothpaste mess <laughs> over in the sink and everything. You know, instead of, like, trying to get a separate paper towel and get a cleaner and come back in, and you just grab your underwear and wipe everything down before you throw it in the hamper. Why even wipe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things I do not miss about being a bachelor, and that's one of them. I, I, I was just lazy. Well, I probably still am. <laughs> I was just going to say, what's changed? I know, what's changed? <laughs> All right, let we could probably switch over now. Standard, yeah. Standard right. on the left. And standard on the right. Okay. Well, Duluth Fly, we are planning on. I gotta fix that. I don't like how it keeps changing out on or timing out. We're going to the Bahamas. Yeah, we are. Boy, we're gonna have some altitudes, aren't we? Yes, we are. There's 18,000 feet. Actually, she's uh, working pretty nice right now. Today's landing, with or without the undercarriage. <laughs> well, it is optional. We did bring it with us, right? We did bring a spare undercarriage. I don't know. Speaking of which, you could pop us back outside. Let's take a look here. Okay. Um, Find your little switch leader on your handle there. Oh, yes. I always forget about that. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, in that all her is resplendent that, glory. Yeah, that be the what? Yeah, we're going to the 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 Republic of the Banana Hammock. I mean, uh, Bahamas. <laughs> is that what I thought that was? Wow. Got a hydraulic Iceberg leak. for all. That's exactly what this is. Just cannot get over the scenery. No, right. And then look at that over there. Yeah, got, that's all. That's some lens flare. All yeah. right. Actually, get rid of that. That does eat up a little bit of frames, but it doesn't really do much. Well, right now, I mean, I'm sitting at 29 to 30 yeah. for frame rate. I imagine, though, if we turn that off, you won't really see much of a boost. Your biggest boost um, is going to be your uh, terrain level of detail. Your INET is magenta. INET. INET. I don't know what INET is. I don't know what INET is either. I have a feeling we're not in the know. Nope. Ooh, I need to get me something to drink. Um, do you need anything from back there? I do not, sir. I am good to go for this flight. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. So while Boeing Sky Pilot's out of the office, we're going to talk badly about him. <laughs> oh, he hasn't left yet. <laughs> Oi! 
Oh man, it's uh, it's good to be back in the pit. It's good to be back flying with Boeing Sky Pilot. Um, as most of you may or may not know already, it has been one heck of a ride to get to this point following a catastrophic system crash in which uh, everything had to be rebuilt from the ground up. Uh, problems with the flaps on the uh, $6,000 um, FSC throttle quadrant, got that fixed. And now it's just a, a matter of transitioning. Eventually, I think, from what we have now, this Frankenstein conglomeration of 737 parts, to a, a full native PMDG. Would I be correct in saying that? Well, we'll see. It, there's If this latest update that's supposed to have come out, uh -huh. um, what I've read is this next update, the service update 12. Right. Uh, not world update, but, but service a, but update. a system level update. Right. Yeah. You're, it is supposed to be able to now, like if you pop out like your avionics uh -huh. and you want to move them around wherever, it will now remember where it was last put. Oh, that's good. Right. So it's like they've programmed in some window memory now. Right. So I... Uh, um Icebird brings up a good point. In the latest PS PMDG release, they broke the parking brake. <laughs> oh, really? See, now how... How, can how you, Yeah, don't even get me started. How do you break a parking brake? How do you well, break... Well, think a about it. Oh, he says not PMDG. Oh, it... Oh, in the beta. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what, Icebird, for, I think I remember that um, somebody's talking about... Uh, or PMDG put out a video. Uh-huh said, hey, look, um, you might get some really weird results right? if you go into the beta program, and they cannot guarantee that PMDG will work properly. And to add more excitement to it all, if you want to back out of the beta program, you're going to have to uninstall Microsoft Flight Simulator and reinstall. That makes sense, which is one reason on my production uh, simulator I do not get into beta updates. Because, think of it, you've got all of this beta code, right? They don't care about extracting that beta code. They just want to productionalize it. So it's, it's a fail-forward scenario. So why bother ripping out all the beta stuff and replacing it with the production stuff? So that, that would require way too much development time. So yeah, they're right in saying that if you want to go back to production only, you got to reinstall. Well, you know me. As soon as I see there's an update... <laughs> <laughs> I know. Kills me every time. <laughs> I try to click as fast as I can through the, men the menu so you don't see that there's an update available. <laughs> All right, we have a pro Houston, we have a problem. What's that? Are we supposed to be at 25,000 here? Um, check, no. our, check our legs page. So we are... Oh, look at that. Yeah. You, know, you did not set the uh, cruise altitude, did you? So go to cruise page. And sit there and see where it says cruise 20... Set yeah. that to 370. There you go. Execute. There we go. And away, away we, we go. go. Are we going to have a back-to-back -back stream? Actually, um, we've got some new code we want to try. <laughs> yeah, we do. We're kind of like eager beavers to give this new code a try. Yeah. It's super secret, ultra, double probationary. We can't say anything. That's right. Because in case the hangar burns down, we... we, we, we then we'll have plausible deniability. Yeah, exactly. But I'm kind of looking forward to trying this code out. Yeah. Yeah, this could be this could be game changing. Could be game changing. <laughs> yeah, CIA level stuff. Ah, the CIA wishes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, instead of Skunk Works, it's probably going to be called Drunk Works. <laughs> 
that's probably that's probably most appropriate, right? <laughs> right. And Jim, uh, I told you, to, you you don't put your index page there. So we are living in a very strange alien world. You know why? Yeah, I see that. We got two sons. What? <laughs> got a son over there, and we got a son over here. Uh, uh, <coughs> wow, man. So I think um, Microsoft needs to fix that. Are we on uh, Tatooine? Maybe. Got two suns going. Two suns in the sunset. Well, let's Shout out to the first person not watching the stream that knows where that line came from. Two suns in the sunset. That's not original. See, so look at this. The, they're staying in position, too. Well, here they go. All right, now they're gone. Now we don't have any sun. Well, all you did was move the scene around. Got rid of them. <laughs> Got rid of them. <laughs> Works on my end. <laughs> but look at the tear. Look at the tearing. I would like you guys to fly a real plane. <laughs> well, you know, Icebird. <laughs> I kind of dropped that uh, bomb uh, a couple months ago. Suggesting that we might um, stream a real flight. Go out uh, do, you know, do you know somebody's willing to let us fly a 3.7? Well, we wouldn't be able to fly a 3.7. Maybe. I don't know. Um, our, our crossfeed's open. Do we want that? Yeah, we're okay. fine. Okay, cool. Um, so, I had suggested a couple months ago that uh, Boeing Sky Pilot and myself go out to the <laughs> local airport. I have no son. I have no, no daughter, daughter too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, rent a uh, probably a Cessna... 172 RG or 182 and we go for a hundred dollar hamburger I always like a hundred dollar hamburger and we stream it or at least record it and then post it later right no that's the way yeah I don't think it'd be a little wise to stream it while we're flying no not like watching crash landings live on TV right <laughs> <laughs> But it's something I've been thinking about for a while. I think it would be a great little uh, event for the year. You will do the backseat roll. <laughs> is, is that the screaming roll <laughs> or the praying roll? <laughs> oh, my God, we're all going to die. Oh, Lord, Jesus, help us, Lord. <laughs> All right, dude. We're screaming right along. Yeah. Looking good, Mr. Katya. Oh, we're almost at... T why did Top of Climb end up being so far away? Well, <laughs> could it possibly be that Dingbat 1 and Dingbat 2 weren't paying attention to That's probably the flight true. plan? Yep. That would be it. Oh, wow. Nice. Let's see here. Information weather. Current weather for the Bahamas. Ooh, it's going to be 3024 for the uh, Baramator. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it's really nice. 70 degrees. Oh, nice. Wow. At, that's No, no, it's the wind. 70 degrees at 11 knots. Ah. Scattered clouds, 3,500. Ceiling, 1,200. Temperature, it's 80 freaking degrees. Lucky bastards. Yeah. With 65% humidity. Gorgeous. Perfect. Did you hear they've got snowstorm warnings in Southern California? Really? Did you hear that? No. Yeah, I heard that on the news on the way up today. Snowstorm warnings in Southern California. Yeah. There is snow currently on the Hollywood sign. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Man, the weather, Crazy. The weather's getting all kind of freaky deaky. It is. 
But this should be the last of it, hopefully. There's signs that El Nina is uh, cooling down. Stupid El Nina. So we shouldn't be seeing any more of this weird weather. But we always get one last blast of freezing before it finally starts warming up Yeah. in August. Well, what? <laughs> well, for us, though, yeah, what? Summer goes from, what, July 30th to August 1st? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It never rains and sun. It sure seems like it, but here lately they've been getting deluged, haven't they? Yeah. They really have. All right, we seem to be climbing okay. Yep. How does it sound with the outside view, guys? So the engine sounds like drowning everybody out? I hope not. Yeah, isn't it August where you're at, 2MB944? <laughs> Actually, no. You know what? This morning, yeah, I uh, got up. Lori had already taken off to work. Got out, you know. Scratching my butt, staring at the thermometer, and said 15 degrees. <laughs> Going was, back to bed. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> you know it. You do not freeze my balls off! <laughs> hey, did you hear about Coke? No. The study that came out with this? No. They make your testicles big. They're test it's a testicle enlarger. Well, mine should be freaking huge. No, you drink the diet. It's a shrinker. Oh, okay, so it goes the other way. Okay, yeah. from diet. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> but no, seriously. <laughs> some somebody. Oh what? my god! Oh, it's you. Oh what? Oh, so. <laughs> in all honesty, though, yeah, they're saying that the Coca Cola and Pepsi um, enlarges uh, males testicles and um, increases hormone hmm the testosterone hormone yeah yeah all right Ron well, no, I'm so that now you know why I walk bow-legged ah, that, that ain't it that is <laughs> it's dear God <laughs> oh my god <sighs> crazy man Mountain Dew Shrink. You know, Mountain Dew, MB944. So I used to be an engineer on naval ships. And I did a, did a six-year tour on a steam-driven ship. And oh, wow. so I was down in the engine rooms. So one of the things that they treat boilers with, because it's high temperature, you've got to protect the tubes, right? You don't want all this buildup in the tubes. Right. Of, of where the water just changed over into steam and then sent out of the boilers, right? So they use something called ethylene diamine tetraacetate, or better known as EDTA. Mm -hmm. You look on the side of the can of Mountain Dew. Yeah. <laughs> EDTA. <laughs> oh, my God. I stopped drink. I never drank Mountain Dew ever again. Oh, my God, yeah. The same chemical that they treat boilers with was in my Mountain Dew. Wow. That's scary. No wonder my intestines were as squeaky clean. Yeah. <laughs> Everything just shoots right through it. <laughs> Coming through! Have a burger out of burger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not riding that barber pole, buddy. Oh! What? You're right. We can do that. All right, uh, let me see if I can figure this out. Flight level 370, and then we're going to put a whack in there. And, oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We're going to do this. Looks like 276. Uh -huh. Target speed, 2... Seven, six. Oh, that ain't right. Try eight, seven, six, five, three, oh, nine. All right, point eight, seven, six, five, three, zero, nine. 
Yep, you did it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> we are squeaking right up on the edge of that barber pole now. Almost like the engines have nothing left to give us, though. No, they, you're really it. Yeah, we're... Yeah. You're probably really... Well, you know what, though? We still have the old drag coefficients. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if we'll achieve that speed or not. Probably not. No, there's, she's fighting like crazy with the engines. And she's like... And then even with the tailwind. That's not it. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Yeah, with a tailwind, she's not even getting there. Yeah. Yeah, we probably should dra uh, pull down the drag coefficients just a little just bit a more. Just a tad. Yep. Oh, she's she's getting there. Oh, she'll yeah. Well, she burns off fuel. She'll probably get her speed brought up more. All right, we're starting to disappear from over the land and into the ocean. So that was weird coming when you pulled in. You saw all that decking moved, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was... I'm still sore from all of that. I'll bet. That did not look like fun at all. Nope. So where are you at on your 350i, yo? So I put the fuel gauges back in, put that panel back in. Uh, the gauges work. The switches do not because they're not modeled. Um, so now, are you sure they're not modeled? I mean, the data is there, but, I mean, you... So here's why I say they're not modeled. In 2020, there is actually an event you can call to set the um, crossfeed from left to right or center, right? Okay. It's there. there. There's an event you can call it. doesn't do anything. I can't throw my standby pumps on or off, and I can't throw my aux pumps on or off. Every other switch in the pit appears to be at least appears to be modeled but and I had the same problem with Carinato they just like gave up when they got to the fuel panel I can't get to them through the keyboard I can't get to them through a joystick button and I can't get to them directly through an event it just doesn't do anything and so I, I poured through the black square code too they're not doing anything fancy with the, the fuel panel so that's all. Or maybe they just haven't got to it yet. Are they done? Have they said they're done? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Now, Iceberg brings up a good point about SPAD. Um, I looked at SPAD. It wasn't going to fulfill what I needed it to do. I mean, SPAD is great as long with, um, along with MobiFlight. If all I want to do is, is just basic switches and lights. But as soon as I want to get fancy, like I want to delay the turning on or off of a light somewhere after a switch is thrown, or if I want to use stepper motors with a very um, specific calibration routines, I can't do that in SPAD and I can't do that in MobiFlight. SPAD to me was really confusing. I mean, I got I got switches and lights to work, but as soon as I wanted to get beyond that and add more custom functionality, you can't do it. All right, I'm gonna do that. So the only way around those issues, if you want to get fancy, is you have to go to a very um, customized solution, which I have, which is great because I can write the code for the Arduinos myself and then just communicate with this piece of middleware. 
but I can't do that with Moby Flight or Spad. So. Reset MCP out. What are you pushing over there? What are you doing? Not look away. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Our you know why? Because we're at top of descent. Yeah. But she's really slowing down. That's because she's getting ready to descend. It's funny how that works. Weird, yeah. Yep, there come the throttles. <laughs> Drag required. And me without my dress. Once again. Yep. Yep, now we're descending. We sure are. Uh, it's interesting that we're, they got us at top of descent. And you've already got, uh, what is, uh, do we have a, um, so we're supposed to be descending at 264 knots. It, it'll pick up, but it's interesting that it's having us do that. I mean, we only need to be at 30,000 at skips. So it says here on the FMC, at least on mine, that we can't use the restroom until we're below 10,000 feet. <laughs> does yours say that? Because mine does. See? Well, Restroom below ten thousand. It's a good thing you brought your depends. No kidding. This is so pretty. Look at that. Guess we should jump back in. Yeah. Besides, all it is is a bunch of blue water out there. Yep. You can go ahead. You can put us back. Okay. In. All right. Just this button. Right here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> I think we're descending just fine. Yeah, we're we're doing it. We're doing it, man. We're doing it live. You know what? I think this might be a little too dark in here. I was thinking the same thing. I, I can turn that up real quick. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do what I want to do. Uh, you're going to probably need uh, this. I need you? the mucilage. Not much. Yeah, not much. Try 40%. Yeah. Uh, where's the mouse? It's you got to scroll it way over. Oh, here we go. I got yeah. it. Okay, you got it? I got it. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. I'm sure. So right now we are at 30. Yeah, go to 40. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Let's go to 50. That's... Yeah. Because it was kind of dark in here for me. Yeah. Let's leave it there for a minute. See how 50 is. Okay. Or do you want to do 60? Let's do 60. That. Yeah, let's do that. We'll leave that. Okay. Oh, that, it's starting to look awfully blue again. But well, let's leave it. We're we're blue. We're, we're in Why we're we? in a blue sky. <coughs> oh. <laughs> I hope you're not leaving teeth marks. I need to get that checked. <coughs> now I'm gonna leave it at. Oh, no, come on. Right there. Right there. Yeah, there's a little. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. It was uh, maybe just a smidge too dark in here. Yeah. Oh, we're just cooking along here. Maybe we need wipers. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Wipers. Right. 
Levi. The swim, we're supposed to be at 261. Real off subscribed with Prime. Who? Real oft. Oh, man, thanks. Awesome. Thanks for the sub, man. Welcome aboard Yellow 705. Where you are never late because we never depart on time. Your flight crew today. <laughs> <laughs> Numb nuts one and Numb nuts two. Yes. And thank you for using your Amazon Prime sub. That's awesome. We know you have a choice when you fly. <laughs> and we're always surprised when you choose us. Yes. Or that's why we're surprised when you choose us. You know what? I think uh, we need uh, our, our we need to have a word from our sponsor. There you go. Yep. All right. So everybody, uh, sit back and enjoy a word from our sponsor as we do our descent. Hi there. Boeing Sky Pilot here. Before we turn you over to the flight attendants and they make all those announcements that you're just going to totally gaff off and ignore, making their job that much more miserable, I thought I'd ask you a few questions first. Does your favorite flight sim computer suffer from performance issues? Whether you're running P3D, Microsoft 2020, or even the Vault, the new X-Plane 12? Do you find that you just don't have that good joystick grip anymore? or even that your favorite third-party developer plane just suffers from too much excessive wing droop. And then worst case of all, you just don't find yourself setting your trim right for your airplane anymore. Simagra's got you covered. Just one 200,000 milligram dose of Simagra will have you doing rock solid landings one more time with big old grins. Now, Side effects may include, or but not limited to, the inability to descend after four hours. Now, if this occur, please make sure you contact your flight surgeon right away. So I'm going to turn you back over to the flight attendants now. Make sure that you ask about Simagra and where you can get one from your local retailer. Enjoy your flight, because I'm going to enjoy it. Okay, I've already got your uh, flaps set in there, so it's going to be cross fence speed of 137 knots. Okay. Our crossing restriction at Moose, 2,000 feet. All right. Um, let's see here. What is? Let's get uh, some charts here. Approach. We're doing, um, which one did you select? Runway or, 10. But, but what was there a, a choice? Well, that was in the flight plan. So, you got RNAV 10. Hang on, you got a couple page. RNAV 10. You got Vortac 10. Mm-hmm. And, and just run away. Let's do Vortac 10. Well, then you got Vorty 10. Uh, which one do I have up here on the charts? So you yeah, I, I, have a Vorty, I have Vorty 10 approach. So you want to do V-O-R-Y or V-O-R-Y-Z? Uh, let's do Y. The bottom one. Okay. No, that was the wrong one. No? Oh, oh here you go. Okay. Yeah. Um, prune is going to be our transition. No, I'm sorry. Not prune. Yes, prune. Sorry. Prune is? Pruny. All right. Perfect. Yep. So we're going to execute. execute. Perfect. Okay, that is that is definitely the um, V-O-R-Y-10 approach. All right. 
So with that, let's VORY approach. So at Moosey, we should be at 2,000 feet. Yep. So 109, set our course. Digi driver, welcome aboard. Hey, Digi! 109, set 109 for your course. Yep. Up here. Oh. Dude. I thought you said I set 109. That's just me not paying attention again. No way. <laughs> yes way. White Elig. Nice. Hey. Welcome aboard. Yellow 705. We're going to stop off in the Bahamas and have some, uh, have some, uh, Cuban meat. coffee. Ooh. I miss Sam's Cuban coffee. Oh, I do too. Oh, that is oh so good. Oh, my gosh. We have a Cuban restaurant in, um, Ballard. Really? Yeah. We're going to have to frequent that someday. I hope they have the Cuban coffee, because we went there a couple of years ago, and they didn't have Cuban coffee, which I thought was kind of odd for a Cuban restaurant. Right? Oh, that stuff that Sam makes is holy Oh, my God. Gosh. Yeah. You don't need any additives to it. You just drink it straight, and it's so good. Oh, last time, Digi Driver said he had Joffrey's amazing coffee. Joffrey's? Joffrey? Like King Joffrey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't drink that coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's not what he's referring to. Yeah. All right. Well, look at this island. I didn't know it was this big. Or are we flying over to another one? No, this would be it. This would be it? This is it, yeah. I'm going to break out my handy-dandy E6B rate descent calculator and make sure we're going to make Moosey at... Uh, 2,000 feet but here. I'm showing that we're 5,000 uh, too high. Yeah, and it, it stops there. We're pegged there, right? Yeah, so we're going to need to give a little bit of flappage. Yeah. All right, where's my rate descent calculator? E6B, bingo. We can get this descent rate to go faster. Yeah. Yeah, prune it wants us at 8,000. All right, let's see. Let's Top see. of descent, requ required rate of descent. Let's find that out. So our ground speed is currently 320. Indicated altitude. Is huh? I think oh, no, we're just we're descending like a bat out of hell now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our our uh, profile's coming back in. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's because I took manual control of the situation. Crossing altitude is going to be twenty two thousand. Fixed distance. So I'm going to say that's about thirty five miles. Oh, we have another survivor of tax season. <laughs> Oi. Ooh, he's acquiring parts for an A320 sim. Yes, it is. It's a long journey. Enjoy. Yeah. So our descent rate should be at least 2,200 feet per minute. So yeah, we're we're, we're gonna make we're gonna make 2,000 at Musi. Oh yeah. Well, we'll be crossing prune pretty close to 8,000. Yep. Nice. I got the banana set for prunes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you do you, man. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do. <laughs> My issue is I only want OEM parts. Oh, guess who's in the house? Disavow player. is in the house. So real, yeah, he wants OEM parts, so it's really slow on getting some of them. 
Yeah, and it's going to be really hard to get them, uh, yeah, it, as you find them one by one to get them. And then convert them over. And then, yeah, trying to re reverse engineer the um, the unit. That's always fun. Uh, but I find that really enjoyable. Ooh, you're back to scenery developing. And there goes Disavow Player, just banned. He's back to banning bots. Ban hammer. Air Inc. stuff, yeah. Air Inc. I uh, messed around a little bit with Air Inc. 429 for a while. Um, <clears throat> did not have much success. In fact, I kind of screwed up uh, my Avidyne MFD. I, I actually have a genuine Avidyne MFD. Somehow, when I was messing around with the protocol, I set the unit <laughs> to track true heading instead of magnetic heading. So I had to recode my controller to adjust back to that. <laughs> like, oh, God. And I don't know what I did. But I got a bunch of airing stuff. I got some uh, discrete interface chips. I haven't really pursued that. Haven't really had a need to at this point. I, I think it, I just did it for the fun of it. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Robert Prather uh, is really big into um, CAN bus and airing, oh. airing protocols. So he, he, I know he's big into that CAN bus stuff too. Yeah. yeah. I did CAN bus for a while. I, I actually built my own transceiver. I had my own... Um, end points to talk to it. It was kind of fun for a while, but it got to a point where I wanted I wanted to expand it further, but that required some code optimizations, and then I gave up. <laughs> oh, wow. He says his job creates stuff for A-Rank. Ooh. White Lake. A-Rank 801. I haven't heard of that one. White Lake, you know, um, there's you could always bribe your wife. Yeah. Try and, bribery. Well, the other thing, too, uh, that m m my guiding principle is it's always easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. That's how I got this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, how bad can the fallout be, right? All right. Oh, that was a big island we just passed off to the right. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. look at that. That wasn't our destination. Nicole's Town. It's that It's that uh, postage stamp right over there. That's the one, yeah. That's the rules I live by. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you developing now, um, DigiDriver? What, uh... Hey, oh, thanks for the man. cheer. Thanks, yeah, appreciate it. So, what, yeah, I was curious, though, DigiDriver, what is it that your, uh... Your masterful mind is coming up for developing now? What is Ray and I going to have to keep our eyes open for? Yes. I actually have an Airing 429 development board. Oh, do you? Yeah. I forget what company it's from, but yeah, it's a pretty neat little board. I don't know how to use it. But it's pretty cool. <laughs> Laying down fence by hand. Oi. Yeah, I imagine that some of that work has got to be so tedious oh. and monotonous after a while. I don't know if I would have the patience for that. All right, coming up on Moosey, and we're now we're below profile because we're over here yakking away, and we had the, uh, the speed brakes out, which now work. Yay. Yes, they do. Is she going to pile drive us right into the uh, ocean? Well, she should be pulling us out. Yeah. There we go. She's a little slow on the response. Ooh, yeah. There she goes. Wow, that was tight. No, not on Vatsim today. Not on Vatsim. Well, there was just too many issues we wanted to make sure were uh, ironed out before we do Vatsim. Yeah. And then besides, we're going to totally destroy what we just put together. Yeah. Which secret, is kind of funny. Se super secret stuff, though. Because we this has been a very uneventful flight. I mean, everything we, yeah, pretty no, much we works. Sh we should have we done that. We can't have that. No, we cannot. <laughs> That's one thing I really want to do. I want to get our discords working together. 
Yes. So we can chat with each other during. Yeah. If we like yesterday, I saw your invitation. I was late in seeing it, but I thought, oh, that would have been really fun. Right. Yeah. You know, give me like a five or ten minute head start, and oh, there you go. That's right up your alley. All right, guys, we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to start dialing this in. Four hundred hertz PSU. Um, I would say, I mean, I don't know much about analog. I'm, I'm more of a digital digital kind of guy, but I would think the analog wouldn't be stable. Unless you use like a precision uh, D to A converter, right? And then uh, hook up a microcontroller to that. Ooh, yeah, we need to be slowing down yeah, here. Yeah, we are. We're only 10 miles out. Yeah, that's what I say. We need to. I guess sterile cockpit time. Yeah. yeah, stop our yapping and see if we can land this thing. Time to put on the contraceptives. Mm. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we are well within the bounds of the approach. Look at that. Look at that. Look what you did. Look at that. Oh, he's here in MYNN right now, too. D Disavow player, where? Oh, oh cool. you know what? Oh, we didn't turn on the damn... Multiplayer. Oh, we would have had Disavow player with us. Nice going, Ray. It's all your fault. I know. All right, let's get some flaps going here. Going flaps five. Okay, I'm gonna take over speed. All right, gear coming down. Yep. All right, go ahead yep. and take over speed. Got speed. All right, gonna go auto brake two. Okay. Landing lights coming on. Engine set to continuous. Starting and AP. And I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the AP. There you go. Yeah, we got to hook that button back up. I just realized. Oh yeah. Because it's not hooked up right now. All right. Let's get you down to. Okay, I got landing the airport speed. in sight. Do you? Yep. Where? Just off to my eleven o'clock here. All right, gonna go flaps thirty. Okay. Okay, speed brakes armed. Okay. Here we come. Flying Shoot, down it's going to be Phoenix a lot of time. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Yep, all right. There it is. There it is. You got it? There it is. There it is. There it is. Winds are right off the nose. Nice. Flaps are 30. Uh, 25. Oh, we're still too fast still. Speed protection's on. Uh, stupid speed protection. Well, we got the autopilot off, though. Why is it still doing that? Tell me we're having this problem again. All right, flaps 30 now. Okay. All right, three white, one red. Taco John! <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez, I had a tickle in my throat here. Yeah, something's going on. Right. Oh, you just, uh, yeah. Oh, are you okay? Me? You sure. Can you land this thing? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Sure? I'm fine. fine. Everybody's fine. You're basically going to have to run this all the way out to the end. Yeah. I, yeah. I can see there's no interim taxiways. Yeah. All right. And reversers run. All right. 80 knots. Coolidge. 60 knots. 
Well, it's coming up. Oh, Ooh. Oh. it does it on its own. She didn't do anything, though. I, I mean, there was no resistance oh. or anything. Oh, you broke it then. Probably. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're here. So we'll taxi basically all the way in and then make a left. Okay. Onto uh, Hotel. I got a hotel in my sights. Actually, I'm going to make it on Bravo, and then we're going to cross. Why? Oh, I see why. Fine, you want to take just two more minutes off of the taxi time. I know. I'm weird that way. All right. Cross this bad boy. <coughs> Holy moly! I got a tickle in my throat. Peter! Welcome aboard, Peter. Good to see you. This seems at like sim rate 0. 0.2. Yeah, it can feel like that, right? Out in the wide, wide world, the sports well, what are is you that, Peter? Moron. Hey, 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 can you not see us? <laughs> sir, excuse me, sir. <sighs> We're taxiing here. Yeah. I wonder if that's the follow me truck. Yes, disavowed player, so everything is working, even the incompetent boobs in the seats. Yeah. Now, if we would have been smart enough, we would have turned on multiplayer, but <laughs> nobody wants to play with us. That is the follow me truck. All right. I guess we'll follow him. It is? Yeah. They have a follow me? Oh, they knew it was YOLO. <coughs> These guys will get lost going to the bathroom. <laughs> Alright, and we'll take a right on Hotel 3. Oh, you still need controls? Oh, as long as we follow them. Well, I say run over them. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Now, this is not the... Uh, I don't have any enhanced scenery for this place. No. No. All right, we'll do... We'll follow the follow me guy. I don't know. It looks more like a uh, maintenance truck to me. <coughs> ah. Do you mind keeping your germs over there, please? I'm trying my best! <laughs> All right, there's a gate up ahead. I see it. Whoa, really, Digidriver? That's pretty crazy. That is nice. He was talking about how he landed in a place and the, and the follow me truck literally took him directly to where he was supposed to go. Really? That's yeah, cool. That is kind of really cool. Um, uh, 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 uh. I'll just go around him and pull in up there then, I guess. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah, there's a little bit of tearing. Look at that. Yeah. I wonder what's going on with that. I think in all the uh, tuning we did and troubleshooting, we, we probably... Oh, yeah, have there he is. He's signaling you in. Yeah. Now you're coming in at Mach 2 with your air on fire here, buddy. Kind of. Right, I'm going to keep going until he stops waving us in. Finally getting to set up my PC at the new house. Beep him out of the way. So how how is your new place? You liking it? That's how beach rolls. That's right. <laughs> All right. All right. And on the APU power. And. Definitely liking it. Nice. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that concludes your uh, <laughs> entertainment for at least the next few minutes till you go watch somebody else a lot more talented at streaming. Yeah, or flying. <laughs> or flying. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we're going to get to work. Yeah.
We got some stuff to break. I mean, work on. Yeah. So, till next time, guys, from the fly deck of YOLO705. Thanks for joining, and see ya! Later! You have choices when you fly. That's why the people at YOLO Airlines are surprised when you choose us. When the YOLO jets are flying, some days we're really trying. Sometimes it's almost like we can. A family trip, that special friend, an important customer. Whatever your reason to fly, you might get there safely on YOLO Airlines. Some pilots make it look so easy. Every YOLO flight is an adventure. Every in-flight meal, a trip to the lavatory. You'll be really glad to land. We love to fly, but we don't know how. We don't try very hard, and it shows. You'll never be late, because we never depart on time. So sit back, try to relax, and let YOLO pilots point out the sights. Peter says port... Arenas, what? the right wing. Isn't that what he said? Port. <laughs> what? Port. <laughs> Can't even say it. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, right? Port. No, I'm s Port Arenas. <laughs> Arane Sass, Aaron Sass, <laughs> or Uranus. You only live once. That's the spirit of YOLO Airlines. So when you're ready to fly, there's one airline ready to serve you. Poorly. YOLO, we love to fly and we'll learn somehow. We don't know how to fly and it shows. Holy Crap! We yeah, we're just we're done. That didn't go well. <laughs>